Shrewsbury's coal and pumping station was built to improve the health and sanitation of the town at the end of the 19th century. Officially opening in January 1901, it then went on to run 24 hours a day until November 1970 when electric pumps took over. The contract to build the matched pair of pumping engines was awarded to the Stoke-on-Trent firm of W.R. Renshaw and Company in 1896, with the foundations for the engine house being laid two years later. To start the main pumps, a smaller, single-cylinder barring engine is used to slowly move the main crank to the starting position. Once this is reached, the steam valve can be opened, causing the engine to run on its own power, and the barring engine to disengage automatically. Each end of the beam connects to a single acting pump, giving a combined flow of 114 gallons per revolution, or about 100,000 gallons pumped per hour to the sewage treatment works located on the outskirts of the town. Work on building both the engines and engine house were held up at various times by industrial action. By autumn 1899 the project was behind schedule, as Renshaw's factory had suffered a fire causing extensive damage together with a six-month strike by their engineers, which also led to delays. A strike by labourers, combined with a shortage of bricks, meant the rest of the construction work on the engine house also fell behind. Misfortune befell the project once again when the base casting for the second engine was cracked during delivery, which meant by January 1900 the engines and boiler were still not installed, whilst work to finish the roofing was further hampered by severe frost. After the problems of the previous year, progress through the rest of 1900 was much better, and by August work was almost complete. Notification was received in the November saying pumping would start during the following weeks. On the 4th of January 1901, an official public opening ceremony was held in the presence of the Mayor and other dignitaries. This was followed by a series of engine trials, which meant it was October 1902 before the works were finally deemed complete and handed over to the Town Corporation. After 70 years of continuous operation, the pumping station was starting to show signs of wear. The council predicted it would cost £70,000 to fully repair. Alternatively, a scheme to install submersible electric pumps could be accomplished for just £15,000. This would also offer considerable annual savings to the running costs, as full-time staff would no longer be required to manage the pumps. In November 1970, the steam engines came to rest for the final time. Due to their industrial interest, the Libraries and Museums Committee decided to install a small electric motor to one of the engines so it could be seen turning, and the pumping station would be open to visitors two afternoons a week. By the early 1990s, the museum was only opened on request. It was at this time interested volunteers formed the Shrewsbury Steam Trust, with the aim of restoring the pumping engines back to steam operation. Over a number of years, missing parts were replaced, the boiler recommissioned, and modifications made to allow the engines to run again. Finally, in January 2001, the pumping engine was once again officially opened in steam by the Mayor of Shrewsbury. Since the reopening, the second engine has also been restored to operation and the pumping station is now open to the public during the summer months, where visitors can once again see the engines run in steam.